Medical Sikhwat Hospital is the first public hospital to open in Singapore in the last 10 years. It's built to serve more than 700,000 residents in the north. Actually love the atmosphere and the cohesiveness. One of the things that's always been striking is it's such a new hospital, so, so modern. I have never felt the pain of the travel, like to and fro travel, which takes more than two hours for me, because when I come here, I enjoy my day. We care for our patients. Good patient care is compassionate and responsive. It is also guided by good judgement and patients' values. In the wards, we care for our patients 24-7, providing integrated and holistic care for our patients to recover as soon as they can and discharge. We also provide them educational pamphlets and information so that they continue to live with a healthy life post-discharge. The most important factor in patient care is empathy. As a healthcare worker, it is not only important for us to feel for the patient, it is important for us to feel with the patient. When it comes to our patients, ultimately our goal is to discharge them as soon as possible. Those patients with chronic conditions and need to have continued medical care, our community nurses stand ready to provide a rental care for them at home. We care for our community. In the community, we try to find the right balance, on the one hand, to encourage self-management for sustainability purposes, and on the other hand, to provide services to support them when that is necessary. In community nursing, besides providing clinical care, strength-based nursing builds relationship and trust with patients and family. This promotes empowerment, autonomy and self-care. My main role as a community nurse is to prevent readmissions of patients. See, of course, uh, I always fly with her. Whatever, whatever problems that I have, whatever things that I'm not certain of, I will definitely call her. How are you? Mm, makan ready? Yeah. How are you makan? Bubur. Bubur. She's giving, Bubur. giving me much hope and help to our family actually. So I, don't, I think she's very competent, she's very capable of handling her, uh, her job. So that is why the trust that I have in her is there. In the community, we want to use a strength-based approach meaning we do not want to start from what is wrong, but what is strong. And we want to facilitate for them to be able to come up and realise that within themselves and among themselves, they could actually support one another. This way, we also want to create an environment where they can thrive and they can continue to lead a good life. We care for our environment. Having a healing environment is very important for our patients. From the start, we envision and plan for an environment that promotes health. As part of the place-making concept, we intentionally create spaces that promotes happiness and well-being. When we came here in 2010, there was only one tree in the compound. We started planting to provide shade for our patients that visit us here. Then we put in biodiversity, birds, butterflies, uh, fish and all this. We bring nature to the doorsteps of our patients. I do think that having greenery in the hospital makes it a great effort to make the patient feel at home so that they don't feel stressed when they come into the hospital. Uh, currently, we have about 28 volunteers up here at the rooftop. These volunteers are very, very good. 
they keep the rooftop garden in tip-top shape. This hospital has been 10 years. The next 10 years, what I really hope is this hospital ground, the garden, the landscape park can be enjoyed and the community will come and grow with us. We care for our people. Our people are our greatest asset. They are very committed and focused in delivering good quality, affordable and hassle-free healthcare with science, love and wisdom. Caring for our people. It is a discipline to always think about how each piece of work is part of development for our colleagues. All in all, build trust that you care for them as individuals, for their self-development and career development. It is important to train the trainers so that our teachers are equipped with the necessary knowledge, skills and attitude to provide cost-effective teaching. My name is Fauzia. I'm a nurse clinician working in the operating theatre. Besides nursing, on my free time, I will also teach Zumba. <laughs> The hospital is a health-promoting hospital, so we are big on exercising. I just hope that more people will do fitness as a commitment. We are reminded, make sure that you're fit enough. Fit enough not to do the work, but fit enough so that you can spend more time with your loved ones. So that I really believe in. We love our people and our people love our patients. This love shone through when we face COVID. Our people came together. They take on expanded roles, make personal sacrifices and dedicate themselves entirely to ensure the safety and well-being of our patients and their colleagues. At the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic, 70% of our more than 1,000 beds across KDPH and YCH were used for COVID-19 related work. 50% of our A&E attendances at that time were COVID-19 patients or suspects. On behalf of Ishun Health Management, I would like to say a big thank you to all our people for their dedication and hard work throughout this challenging year. I hope we will pursue our service mission and find joy in this very meaningful work. Happy birthday, KTPH! Happy 10th anniversary, KTPH! Happy 10th anniversary, KTPH! Happy birthday, KTPH! My heartiest congratulations to our 10 year anniversary. I wish the hospital the best and I look forward to working with all of you for the next 10 years. Happy 10th anniversary, KTPH!